wasn't planning on doing this today because I'm extremely hungover, but we're making progress. And by we, I mean my husband is making progress in the front yard, so I have to show you guys. So um, we are actually in Nashville right now. We own a house here. That is actually the house that I was living in right after I met Nick. Anyways, we Airbnb it when we're not here. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I am only allowed to list it for 30 days plus, but if you have a specific date range that you want that's four days or more, I can actually accommodate that too. You just have to message me and we have to do it on the back end. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, we're doing some tile here. We're just doing some updates at the house here. Um, like the patio furniture was literally like so crusty, so brittle, so shite that I literally just put it up for like 50 bucks and lugged it down three stories. Someone picked it up, it was like falling apart. Like I swear, if you had just been sitting on it and sneezed, like you, your ass would've been on the ground. So that just sat out here in the weather. I had no covers for it, so we're redoing the whole third floor deck i'll give you guys a tour of this house i don't think i've ever ever given you guys a tour if you were following me back when i lived here in 2019 that's when i bought this house um you've seen bits and pieces of it but it looks so different because the third floor had all of my animals on it before and i desperately just wanted the third floor to be for entertaining so we just did um got a couple new things up there so i'll give you guys a full tour of it and then i'm going to kind of show you guys what we're doing and like the changes that we're making here and it's gonna happen slowly we're here for the rest of the month um, so I might need to make this a couple pieces but let me show you what we're doing out in the front here so just had this mode Michelle was nice enough to do this for me thank you Michelle if you're watching we planted this guy a couple years ago this guy has not grown like at all but um, so we, this is the front of the house. Um, dude, this tree right here was like about seven feet tall when I got it. I used to put my chameleon on that and it's huge now. So Nick is out here working his ass off. So we're kind of got this whole organic shape here. We went and just bought some of these. They're all bunched up together right now. But um, this is what $500 of the plants looks like, y'all. Um, there's like four pieces there. And then I actually bought this guy, this one, and that one. I really wanted more hydrangeas, but Nick said they're very messy, so we settled on one. Um, we need to plant that one. But, um, so yeah, we've got these different types of grasses that we're gonna kind of just put in here like organically. So they grow super well, super pretty. This is some ground cover I'm gonna put back in there. We're doing a weed blocker, which was Nick's idea, brilliant. And yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing here. We're about to also have siding here, um, power washed and refinished. When I bought this house, there were no houses right there. It was a lot and I missed it when it was a lot because there was this cat that would always hunt for things out there and I just loved watching him from the third floor. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is what's going on. I'll show you guys, we got a bit of an update. I'm doing a little slow water for this tree over here. But yeah, it's coming along. I'll show you guys when we have these in. Okay, well we can take all this stuff off and flatten it out if you want. And it is a few days later. We had a really great night the other night. <laughs> um, so I am going to show you guys what we've got going on because um, our tile guy Sammy is coming today to do the island and then um, on the third floor. So I was going to show this to you and I decided I'm going to do a tour like right before we leave Nashville so everything's like clean and neat like kind of like after I do the new pictures for like VRBO and Airbnb and stuff um, because I never have like a nice clean house. Like I'm not one of those influencers that waits till like everything's totally clean to like do videos usually, but I'd like to be here for once. So let me live my best life. Um, okay, here we go. So this is the island. Nick just added under lighting, which I'll have to show you guys at night with the tile on here. Um, so I'm going with a like, kind of maple fluted look, but it's actually tile. This just gets so filthy 
with the wear and tear of people's feet. It's just like dirty and like coming apart right here. So I think this is just gonna like seriously elevate this whole space. Good morning, Rick. Okay, so we've got the deck out here. Nick just put this together. This room is kind of uh, in progress. But this, we just put this wine and beverage fridge. It's supposed to be glowing blue, but the power went out. I gotta change it. But anyways, this wall here is gonna be tiled. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I'm on the third floor. Um, I have not been going to the gym lately. Uh, so we're gonna do like a really pretty blue herringbone. I did like a little poll on Instagram and you guys actually chose that one. So that is why we were doing it. I couldn't decide between two of them. So that's gonna go there. I think it's just gonna really elevate it and stuff. Like this whole house is just so white, like very sterile, stark white, like everything. So I think it's gonna just add, just, ugh, I don't know. I just got a hair up my ass, like literally like a week ago. And I was like, this needs to be tiled. <laughs> So that is what's going on today. I need to put some lotion on. My legs have been like so like dry looking. Um, so I'm actually about to go to Buffalo Exchange. I have a lot of clothes and shoes and bathing suits that don't fit anymore um, because I got a boob job and because I had kids. So I'm gonna take all these totes of clothes over there and hopefully they take some of them um it's just like there's so much stuff like with tags on it still and I actually i need to i think i'm gonna bring like all my designer shoes like back in a box like check it on the plane because i need to sell all that but i'm definitely not taking these expensive ass designer shoes to buffalo exchange and then there was a place in nashville that does like luxury consignment i was like oh that could be cool but i left them a voicemail and they never even called me back and they have not answered their phone a single time that I've called. I've called like three times. So I was like, eh, probably not a good idea to leave like $20,000 worth of shoes in their store if I can't even get a hold of them. Um, and our tile guy, Sammy, is about to start in a little bit. I'm super stoked. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys a tour. I've like never showed you a tour of this house because I didn't want anyone to find my address while I was like living here alone. Um, based on like how it looks or whatever since I had recently bought it But now that we're airbnb and and everything it's like whatever. Let's get our day going I think I need to have another coffee And I also need to show you guys this because nick is amazing So I don't know if you you're a costco member, but if you are you probably know The olive tree that i'm about to show you. So we were in mount juliet Which is like half an hour away We went to the costco there and we were like, oh, we want to buy that. Like, this would look really good in the house. So Nick went back to go get it yesterday. There was two left for sale in the entire state of Tennessee. One of them was a display model. So he got that one and he got it for $100 off, which is so awesome. So check this thing out. So also, if you know anyone that wants to help care for plants in Nashville, I need someone to come and do things like that. So let me know. But this one requires no water. How like nice is that? It's like eight feet tall. Like it is so awesome. I need to do something with this too. But when I show you guys a tour, I will be showing you, but I have this idea because you could pretty much fit a football team in my shower. It has like the rainfall shower and everything. That is enough cocoa melon. Um, <clears throat> and I had this idea that I wanted to make it just like full of like tropical plants and like hanging and everything. So anyways, I need someone to help care for my plants here. So if you're interested or live nearby, like got this guy up here, all these were wilting when I came in my piece, so everything. So I need someone to take care of. Anyways, um, if you're interested, then send me an email. My email is in the description box below. Um, and nobody ever sends me email, so I'll probably definitely see it. <laughs> I just got this little sign this is the only thing i left hobby lobby with is that crazy or what it says maybe coffee is addicted to me that was cute well the tile didn't turn out exactly like i expected not because he did a not good job he did a great job but 
the kitchen tile I should have thought a little bit more about. Usually I'm really good at like putting stuff together and designs and styles. But I've been very overwhelmed since I got here and I haven't really had much time to like sit and absorb and think about and we we're on a tight time frame to pick it out. So I'm blaming all of those things. But I do not like the way that it looks with the backsplash of my kitchen. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. It looks better than it did now that I've slept on it, but it just doesn't match. So this is what it looks like. It's better than it was, but it doesn't match. Editing Kristen here. Okay, so I figured something out before I show you the island. So the hood above the stove is like super kind of like modern and spacey looking. And our tile guy, Sammy, was just here finishing something up. And I was like, you know what? If this hood looks something more like this one right here or like just like wood or something and like fit with the theme of this like room a little bit more, like kind of like Mediterranean boho, whatever, I think it would make the tile below it look like less like modern and like chic, I guess, because it would be like less like silver. Um, so this is the hood I'm talking about. See how it's just kind of like kind of modern-y looking because that's like glass and stuff. Like, so I feel like it's just making this look like this could look more farmhouse, farmhouse, like boho. Like you could make it look that way if this was like a nice wood hood. So that is kind of like what I've come to the conclusion of. Good thing I know someone who knows how to build hoods. And... Mm -hmm. You look like a 12 year old boy right now with your little mustache and your hat. <laughs> Not that 12 year old boys can grow mustaches like that, but like maybe like a little cartoon character or something. Mm -hmm. So someone's discovered cereal and she just played us both this morning because I told her no cereal because she didn't have it every single day for breakfast. I made her eggs and then she wanted to wake daddy up to give her bread to give her cereal. And then while I was busy talking, she asked daddy for cereal and she got cereal. <laughs> <laughs> so this just doesn't really match with that which I don't love at night this looks a lot cooler because it's like lit up a little bit more but you can still see it so that's tile and it's supposed to look like oak um but yeah just like kind of looking at the two together like if you're just looking at this and not looking at the black splash like it looks good um but yeah I, I like it just it just does not match my black my backsplash at all so I think it looks better than it did, but I think this is gonna have to like be redone at some point when I figure out exactly what I wanna do here. Or I rip off my backsplash and do something different back there because honestly I don't like love that backsplash in this kitchen. What else? Nothing else has really changed in here. I just picked these guys up. Um, the frame is a little too red of a wood for me and I was gonna try and paint it, but then I realized it's not real wood. But I love these pictures. I got these off Facebook Marketplace. I have a similar picture to this by the front door with a tiger on like an old car. So I thought that was really cool. And this one just came with it. It's like a little Pantone thing. I don't know if I'll put that up. Uh, we put a little pantry sign up here because now I'm gonna be opening the pantry to everybody, which I never did before because I was just kind of in a rush to get this like Airbnb ready and I just had it locked. But like when people stay here for a month, there's just not enough storage in here for food and stuff. So we're opening that um, and I'll take you upstairs and show you the other tile. I also got these for the bedside tables, which I recently stayed at Airbnb and really liked. Um, so pretty much it has all these different charging cords just on one so that they're on all the bedside tables and you don't have to um, like, you don't have to like bust out your own, I guess. But I did the math wrong because I need two more sets or did Harlow steal some of those. I got these landing rugs on Amazon, which I really, really like. They were pretty affordable. I also got one to go up here and this is extremely long. This is 19 feet and it goes all the way. Um, and I really, really like this. So I got that. I also got this. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to put it because I thought, oh, maybe I'll hang it on here, but then it's just going to bang around when people open that. But if I put it all the way up there, it's like way up there. So I might just put it like in the middle of the door. What do you guys think? Let me know. We got a grill. We got a couch. And we got another one of these. I'm so excited. So we went to this liquidation store and I'll give you a tip here. I'm always so winded from going up those stairs. So we went to a liquidation store here 
in Nashville. I'll put the link down below if you are near Nashville, but it is like an adult's wonderland in there. Everything from Costco that you've ever seen that's sold out at Costco is probably there. They had this couch. I think we paid $549 for it. It's brand new, has storage underneath. I need to put some like cute like boho type pillows on it to like tie it in, but this is from Costco. And then this plant right here, this giant tree is usually $399 at Costco. It was completely sold out. I think I told you guys, I can't remember if I told you on here or stories, but anyways, Nick drove all over Nashville, like Murfreesboro, whatever, went to go get one, bought the floor model. It was $299, they gave him $100 off. I walked into the liquidation store to get another olive tree that was at Costco before it was only six feet. This one's eight feet. And they had this one sitting there. They had two boxes and I was like, I'm taking both of those. They were 245 each. So unfortunately after I paid for both of them, we were about to load them into the car, take them out of the box because these won't fit in our little SUV here. And one of them, somebody totally duped Costco and put the small six foot one inside the box for this guy with the big round base. So we only got one, I got refunded for the other one, but if and how we found this liquidation place is looking up like faux olive tree on Marketplace. So a lot of people that are selling like new stuff or liquidation warehouses are on their selling stuff. So um, that's my little tip. If you're trying to find something that's out of stock on Costco or whatever, it's sold out somewhere, look for it on Marketplace because you can usually find someone that's like selling it brand new or has like an overstock of them and you might get lucky. The tile in here is not what I expected because we were gonna do herringbone. And the reason I wanted to do herringbone is I just love the way that it looks. And also I thought it would add a little bit of femininity to the tile because this tile is like blue and kind of masculine. Um, now that I'm looking at this too, I think the grout color is too light. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember picking that. I thought we picked like a dark gray. Anyways, it still looks good. But again, like this is not what I expected. He did a great job on the tile. And also, so that we couldn't do the herringbone because the bottom, I'll just show you. Okay, so this is how the tile ended up looking. And this piece down here of the countertop that you see is actually completely uneven. You can't tell just like looking at it, but it's completely uneven. So he was like, if I do herringbone, this is gonna look like crooked at the bottom and it's gonna start sliding around and it's just like not going to look good. So he did this and I'm actually like really happy with how it turned out. Like it looks a hundred times better than it did in my opinion, but it isn't exactly what I wanted. So I'm just glad that I don't live here full time because if I did, I would just, I would have been really bummed. Not only that, but these tiles say that they're three by 16 and they're actually three by 15 and a half. So when your tile is a half inch off, that's kind of a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's how that turned out so far. I just need to like decorate it and put the shelf back up and everything. Um, but yeah, so none of the tile really turned out exactly how we wanted, but at the end of the day, I still think it looks good. Um, I just, like it looks better than it did. It's just not how I expected. The couches that we bought for outside, I'm kind of bummed. They're like not supposed to be here. Like the delivery day keeps changing from like three days after we leave to two days before, from yesterday to the 20th. Like, so I don't know what is going on. Oh my gosh, there's so many spider webs up there. We have a lot of tall windows in here. So that's kind of like where we're at with everything. Oh, I wanted to show you guys another little home buy that I got that I like think are really cute. Um, where is it? Um, okay, so I got these, which I think are really nice to have at an Airbnb. It's kind of like what you would have at a hotel or just like in, in your house in general. These are just really nice. So, um, and they come with different labels so you can choose like exactly what you want to put in those and then save the rest. I got this like little tree. I think Nick already ripped all the tags. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I leave the tags on until I decide like I want to keep it. So I decided I want to keep that. So I thought those looked really cute. That's actually not what I came here to show you guys. This is what I came in here to show you. Um, this was in the bathroom before, but I thought these were really cute. They're just like easy, quick, like cute little, I think it's faux leather um, little thingies. And they come in like the tall square one or this guy. So I got a bunch of these. 
And then before we leave, I will show you guys an entire tour of this house and you can see all of it. Um, and I will link you guys to our Airbnb and VRBO links below as well as our Instagram. Cause since I talked to you guys last, I created an Instagram for the house. Um, and anyways, oh, these were really cute too. I have these um, like little black ones that are sitting on the um, little like bedside tables that I thought were really cute. So anyways, um, I will link like all the cute little things that I've purchased that I can find or similar ones below. But I will talk to you guys later. And if you're down to see a tour, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know in a comment and I will make sure I get a tour done once like we're like done for this trip. All right, bye you guys, have a good one.